Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie and welcome to my review of the Dyson V7 Animal Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. I always want to say Hoover there. Um, just before we start, as always, just want to say thank you to AO.com. I uh, ordered this yesterday, it arrived this morning nice and quick uh, and we were kept well informed throughout. So thanks again to them. Okay, so what is in the box? Uh, well, obviously the dog isn't included. Um, but here we have the actual Hoover itself. See, it's quite small, really. Um, still got some warning labels on there, which I'll have a look at afterwards. Instruction manual at the back. Uh, the connection to make, obviously, it a little bit easier to clean your floors. Um, and then you have, these are Dyson's names. This is the Direct Drive Cleaner Head. Again, I imagine that's just for cleaning the carpet. Um, it's see-through on top, so I think you can see how dirty your house is. Um, the mini motorized tool, uh, which I would imagine is for the stairs, does a similar job to the bigger one, but probably easier to lug around. Um, your charging cable. Um, and then you have the mini soft dusting brush, the crevice tool, and the combination tool, which basically just looks like a mix of them two together. Um, again, I guess you just have to start using it to find out when that will come in handy. Um, another dog also not included in the box um, and then it does also come with obviously instruction manual there um, and this wall mounting tool so that needs to go on a wall um, near a plug you get a little book about the story of Dyson if you've got a lot of spare time on your hands uh, a free post envelope which is for the guarantee which is just on the back of the instruction manual and that guarantee does last for two years so it's definitely worth filling that in instruction manual itself obviously just takes you through basic operation how to stick the thing together in the first place some warnings, um, it explains the lights that you will see. So the vacuum cleaner itself, uh, it does come with a 20% charge, but it says to charge it fully before use, which takes five hours. Um, on the top, you can see here, there's a switch to turn between high suction and extended run, just to uh, increase the battery life somewhat, and then maximum suction. Uh, and it's it, really simple in terms of using the thing. Um, the charging port is at the back. Uh, and then it's literally just a trigger here to use it. And you can hear that's slightly less powerful on the extended run function. I've just got it plugged into the wall at the moment, uh, and as you can see, solid blue light means it, it is charging. Um, but like I say, there is a wall mount uh, which you can run this through. Uh, however, we're probably going to keep this in the cupboard, and we don't actually have a plug socket in the cupboard, um, so that is something to bear in mind. Okay, so as you can see now, the blue light has now gone off, which means it's finished charging. So let's see how it works. So I'll just show you how to put it together. Um, this bit comes already assembled, uh, and the other bits you can just add on. They're nice and simple, um, literally just slot in, uh, and you get a click to let you know it's in. So that is to extend it so you can use it when it's just standing up. Um, and to release that, it's literally just press the red button, pull out very easy to use uh, and it can be used as more of a handheld thing and again the connections just clip on like that. Okay so at the top here we have the filter um, which needs to be washed in cold water once a month and put back in obviously when it's totally dry. Um, here is how to empty the thing so if you just hold on to the bottom and it literally just pulls up. Now it is quite stiff and then as you can see once you get to the top the bottom does pop out so you can empty the canister. Um, it is for me quite stiff and the first time I actually pushed it back down it didn't really make a nice noise so uh, whereas that is going down a little bit more easier now but as you can see it's not the easiest thing to lift up um, but that's how you empty it and um, this can then be taken apart further uh, just in case there's any blockages uh, the manual just tell you to look in certain places for blockages Okay, so we're in the office now. Um, this is where uh, the animals spend a lot of time. We do have two dogs and two cats. Uh, and we hoovered this just a few days ago, actually. Um, and I don't know if you can see the floor now. It looks nice and clean. Um, but I've got the long attachment on with the carpet um, connection. So that is on maximum suction at the moment. Um, and it doesn't feel quite as powerful as uh, a corded uh, vacuum cleaner. However, just off them three or four movements, you can see all that hair, which I couldn't even see on the carpet, has come up. So, having used this Dyson V7 Animal Vacuum Cleaner throughout the day, uh, I am very, very impressed with it. 
Um, first off, I think style-wise, it looks very good as far as vacuum cleaners can look good. Um, however, it is going to live in your cupboard, so I'm not sure how important that is. Uh, and let's talk about cupboards. Um, obviously, the Dyson does come with a wall mount, which is very good for putting the Dyson away. Um, however, you must be aware that uh, when you put the wall mount up, it needs to be near a plug socket, otherwise it's not really of any use. Um, the charging time on this thing is five hours, which isn't really the shortest amount of time. Um, so if you've got it on a wall mount that's not connected to a power socket, then you need to be planning when you're going to be using it. Um, so in terms of using the actual Dyson, um, it is very, very easy to use. It weighs next to nothing, honestly. I think it's 2.2 kilograms, um, so it'd be easy for even the oldest little deer to uh, move around the house. Uh, it makes really light work of doing the stairs, any of the hard to reach places. For me, it was great to do the cars with, um, and just very, very easy to use. As we've already mentioned, the different settings on the maximum power, it, it's, it's not far off being as good as a corded Hoover. Um, as we've already shown you, um, it picks up plenty of dirt on that setting. On the um, extra, um, long setting that is to get you up to half an hour of use. Uh, it's quieter, which might be useful in some scenarios. It's definitely not got quite as much power, um, but it does still pick plenty up. However, I think a corded Hoover uh, or a corded Dyson or equivalent would do just as good, if not better, a job um, than that. And the timing is literally up to half an hour on that setting. The more powerful one, you might be surprised to hear, gives you about five to six minutes of use. Um, it is very good on that setting, but five to six minutes isn't very long. Um, so you will find that you're using the lower setting more often than that. Um, when it takes five hours to charge, it really does mean that you've got to plan ahead what you're going to do. Uh, so one other thing that I forgot to mention as well is on the main sort of connector that you use for doing your carpets and the floor, uh, it does have a mini version of the, the Dyson ball technology that you've seen in their other um, vacuum cleaners. And again, that just makes it super easy to move around. You just literally twist your, your wrist. Uh, and as you can see there, it swivels the head um, and does make really light work of moving the vacuum cleaner around. Uh, build quality of the Dyson, as always with anything Dyson make, is uh, fantastic. It probably excels compared to any of the other brands, uh, just in terms of the sort of tactile feedback of moving the, the bits around, attaching and attaching things. It's all very well made and it gives you confidence that it's going to be working well for quite a while. Uh, and that obviously is backed up by the two-year guarantee that they offer as well. It is a very impressive piece of kit. Um, I'm very impressed with how it works. I think it does an exceptional job at picking up the dirt. Um, as you've already seen what we've got up from our, what we thought were clean carpets, um, it does get plenty up. Um, it does have some drawbacks, uh, and that's mainly around um, what I'd call range anxiety, like you see in electric cars, is a half an hour runtime just isn't huge. Uh, and I think I'd always find I was concerned it's not going to last, um, you know, the full length of time that I need it to last when I'm doing a task. Um, for me, I don't think I get rid of a corded vacuum cleaner. Uh, however, this makes a great addition to a corded one. Um, in terms of cleaning stairs, for me, my cars, um, and any sort of hard to reach nooks and crannies, this thing is so much better than a corded uh, vacuum cleaner. Obviously, you can always keep it on um, on charge if you've got it on a wall mount that's plugged in. Uh, but again, I'm not totally happy leaving it plugged in 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, when I'm probably going to use it once and maybe twice uh, a week anyway. Um, so it means that I would then have to plan when I'm going to be using it and make sure it's charged at least five hours before that. Um, if that is the case, uh, and I, it's something that I haven't planned to happen, like one of the dogs knocks over a plant or something, um, again, am I going to wait five hours to then clean it up? Uh, probably not. Uh, one other quick point was uh, some people have been asking me just how often they find that I'm actually emptying it, because obviously, as you can see, it's quite a small um, container for the dirt. Um, now that's, it is small, but it's not really a problem with the half an hour of runtime. Uh, I find that I empty it just before every time I use it, um, and that keeps the performance at its peak anyway. Um, so all in all, I think it is a really good piece of kit. Um, I think if you've got a smaller house or maybe a flat, and you're happy to have it on charge 24-7, um, I think it would be a really, uh, it'd be something that you could uh, switch to from a corded vacuum cleaner. For ourselves, it's going to be extremely convenient, extremely handy for us, uh, and a great piece of kit, um, but only in addition uh, to the corded vacuum cleaner that we already have. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to go and wind up my dog. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh.